Good morning, my fellow yogic practitioners, my fellow yogic travelers. I'm mighty glad to be alive today, and I hope that you are too, as we continue to live, laugh, love, learn, linger, and live the life we love. You know, to awaken joy, you have to choose thoughts of joy. Even in situations that are difficult, the moment is the only place where you can experience joy. When you sit down and watch your mind, it's almost like insult after insult. At the beginning, this kind of self-knowledge is like bad news. But although random thoughts do arise, we have control over which ones we choose to dwell on. When you see the thoughts of your own affliction or the affliction of others, It's hard to stay mindful. You don't want to pay attention to that. But remember, even in the midst of suffering, and I say this to my friends out there who, like myself, are dealing with various kinds of illnesses, chronic conditions, and stressful situations, you don't know what the future will be like. So just come back to this moment. The moment is all there is, and that's where the actual experience of the joy of living can take place. So, mindfulness, as the Buddha said, can indeed help free you from suffering, from grief, from pain, from sorrow, from anxiety, and release. Release what's blocking your ability to experience the highest happiness that a human being potentially is capable of, even in the midst of the way the world is. Otherwise, all the spiritual teachers throughout history would have a bogus message instead of a message that's uplifting, true, maybe hard to follow given all the distractions and the way history has played out up to now. But nonetheless, yoga is all about intention, sankalpa. The power of intention to make you realize if you don't feel good, you can't bring that goodness into the world. So it seems like it's a selfishness at the beginning, but it's an enlightened kind of selfishness because once you make the breakthrough, your life turns much more away from self-centeredness and into service to other people. Everybody periodically needs to pull back, lick their wounds, regroup, reboot, reset. And then you're going to willingly learn how to direct the flow of your attention. Whatever you put your attention on is going to thrive. Whatever you take your attention away from is going to wither. It's very simple. And because yoga represents what I call neuroplasticity, the attention density, which is focusing on all the different aspects of what a change can be in your life by working the ethics, the postures, the breath control, relaxation techniques, and the progressive absorption into different meditative states of higher consciousness, expanded perspective, and of course, ultimately, opening the heart to love. That's what's going to shift your happiness set point. Just like you learn to hold the pose longer and longer, where at the beginning you couldn't hold it for any amount of time. Well, in the same way, you sh shift your happiness set point by the choices you make, and then what you draw into your life and what you choose to direct your attention to. This is how you get what we call the emergence of your next most radiant self. Even if you fall short of your endeavor, you'll be a better person for it than if you'd never attempted it first. That's why they say our reach should exceed our grasp, otherwise what's a heaven for? So get excited about this enthusiasm is really important. It's called Anyamanas, the Sisesir of the Divine. If you really believe that this is what life is all about and you put your attention into that, put your energy into it, even if the thrillometer moves just a little bit, a little bit, it doesn't have to go all the way over for you to get the benefits. Just keep your zeal going. Get your fire in the belly going. Be all over it, as they say. Get turned on and you'll find the gold of your personality is going to help you bear whatever burden you have to face in life. And believe me, 
Each one of us has a place within ourselves that can bear any burden that we have to face. So, train your mind, change your brain, and remember, yoga is a motivational boost to everything that's worthwhile in life.